What's up, guys? Uh, welcome back. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. So, firstly, before we jump right into the main discussion, because that is the main reason why some of you really click this video. Before we jump right into that discussion, I want to ask this honest question. Please, please leave your honest opinion. Of course, you see Aleko Dangote, you see your uh, Tedola, you see Tonyo Lumelo, and uh, you see the owner of. Uh, Globacom. So uh, the question is, in meeting with these billionaires or two million dollars in cash, if they give you an option to meet these four billionaires or they give you two million dollar cash, what are you going to choose? And I know some of you will choose the meeting with the billionaires. Well, I don't know, but can you let me know exactly what you are going to choose? So, uh, there is one thing in this life. There are people in this country that do not know Aleko Dangote. There are people in this country who do not know Tuni Ulumenu. There are people in this country who do not know Otedola. And there are also people in this country who do not know the owner of Globacom. I don't even know his name, I forgot his name. There are people in this country who do not know them. And you might be surprised if someone say, Oh, I do not know Aliko Dangote. Who is Aliko Dangote? You might be surprised. Like, you don't know the owner of Dangote Cement. But that is the reality of life. Nobody, everybody will know you. So, why am I saying this? It's the whole issue between Fina. And Davido. Well, Davido liked a tweet that referred to Fina, and Fina wasn't pleased with that tweet. And the tweet kind of like referred to Fina like someone who does not, who is not in existence when it comes to the celebrity life in Nigeria, like who is not known. Davido liked. This tweet. The Fina wasn't pleased. The Fina decided to write David O over that tweet because she was disappointed that David O do not know her because she was formerly the Big Brother Niger winner. And David O, David o is well known for watching Big Brother Niger shows. Yes, so David O is. They watch Big, Bo Big Brother Niger show. I can testify to that. David Doe used to watch Big Brother Niger show. So why did he say he doesn't know Fina? So Fina wrote something. Fina said, For the sixth time, does any country want people? Make I just change nationality ASAP. What did I do, David Doe? Now, wow. The hate is real. Congratulations on your twin, Sha. God know me. Thanks. Thank you, Jesus. Make Asha go double my also. Now the video come reply and say, Thank you, love. But I actually don't know who you are. And it was an honest mistake, one verse. David don't even apologize. Say, I actually do not know who you are, but it was an Honest mistake. Yes, it might be. David don't like a tweet. So David don't know if he likes tweet again. And you call the toss what you do, David. Hope you do. But David don't even apologize. Say, I actually do not know who you are. But no verse. Then guess who now came into the whole issue? Tasha. Tasha may matter may no consign her from any girl that doesn't really consign her. You know, the way the, the video wasn't even referring to her. Well, Tatcha decided to impute herself into the whole discussion that has to do with David o and Fina. So, why? Matter me, no consign you. You are not Fina. You are not Fina, uh, Fina uh, mouthpiece. You decide to put your own matter into it. Tatcha said, I know you, Fina. We plenty will know you. 
the someone reply tweeting this with your david o tattoo between your chest is funny david o said the irony if you guys know tatcha very well you know say tatcha was a rugged girl tatcha able get big david o tattoo for chest big david o tattoo for chest apparently she says she has removed it all she removed the tattoo but while you were in that street, while you were in that street doing those log editing, you were, you were, you, you drew the video tattoo for your chest. But now, you call the face say you want to go to disrespect the video for matter me no consigning. And not just only that, she will try to explain herself. What are you explaining yourself for? Why are you coming on something me no consigning? You are saying, okay. Just know, just say we know Fina. Or maybe just, you don't just ignore the matter. Whatever that, well, let's listen to what Taja has to say concerning that, uh, that we don't matter. So I just got back from the gym and I've been following up with the conversation online. Truth is, for a lot of you guys that know me, you guys know I love and I support David. I put off his shows on my story. Even when somebody was willing me on Twitter, I put out a tweet. I was sending him DMs a couple of months ago, begging him to come on the Big Friday show. I need to be at the show in Ghana, hyping up the crowd. I even got in a conversation with somebody on his team very recently. That's a story that almost, it's all love from my end. Now, let's take this to the genesis before this whole brouhaha. An honest mistake was made. You say it's an honest mistake. And I understand how messed up Twitter is now. They bring a lot of nonsense to your timeline. What you're not interested in seeing, people you follow, you don't follow. I understand how messed up Twitter is now. But you made an honest mistake. You don't make an honest mistake, apologize, and then still try to bring that person down. It's just like say you they drive for road, you hit person, you contact person, ah sorry you, but why you say for car for this road, you suppose they your house. If you apologize and apologize, you don't apologize and set somebody up for more drags. Considering that you're a celebrity, you understand what goes on. You know how online bullying is. You know people attack people unprovoked. It was still the same social media. AY made a joke, an honest joke. That some people found funny, some people didn't find funny. But at the end of the day, he came out and he apologized with how big AY is. He came out and he apologized. You even dropped the comment that you, everybody was happy and all smiling. You keep it moving. You apologize, you keep it moving. Or you don't want to say nothing. You totally ignore it. Or even casually quoting it with, ah, babes, no begs, I beg. It was just an honest mistake. And everybody laughs about it. But then you saying it's an honest mistake and then tagging it with i don't know you it, how does that sound to you you know i don't blame uh Tatcha store i blame the video you think say that brother boy always can they going to give this guy something they try to explain you tell the video say you make mistake and if you apologize apologize straight i blame the video for 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 identifying himself with all those people that Nigeria has made for coming out to assist them most of them for coming out to bring them up and uh, you know one time my big brother Nigeria was always inviting David to perform always every season invited David to perform so I blame him for associating himself with them you can never see uh, see this kind of disrespect towards a whiskey like, like you know what I say it's not possible or Bona boy but whiskey precisely it's not possible. Would you want to go, uh, would you want to make be any people that Ninja talk about whiskey that whiskey respond? Or whiskey like your tweet? Or like tweet that kind of like, you see, you see what I'm saying about this. Always in this space of internet for cruising and talking just carelessly. That's why she even with a CC finish for Tatcha now. Wait till you know, because I touch out, Tatcha they pull her mouth inside. Cause she they try to explain. Cause she they try to correct it too. Which kind of disrespect be that? Because David Doe is openly supporting everybody. Openly supporting everybody and tweeting about it. That's the problem. It's not as if openly supporting is not good. Tweeting about it and bringing yourself out. You are bringing yourself out for disrespect and a not dragging. So <laughs> I'm not going to blame Tatcha again. I'm blaming David Doe because the guy just did Mezebu. He just did Mezebu. See, this guy. Uh, Disrespect. Ah, now wow for David. David, I beg uh, you have to reduce your 
your your communication with this big brother Nigeria housemate. You're going to check the big brother Nigeria housemate like that. They are not talented for anything. The only thing they do is to gossip, date each other, gossip more. Now that kind of situation now you want to put yourself in. Who the hell? What did they do the video now? Come on, man. You don't have to like such tweets. You don't have everybody they come on social media, not be every tweet that they like. Well, listen now to Daniel Rega with another CFH. Daniel said, David know Negi and most big brother Nigeria housemates, but claim he doesn't know Fina. That is obviously a lie, because he quite he's quite active on social media and must have seen Fina repeat, repeatedly. Bibi Nigeria aside, a foreigner with a huge fan base would get the same response. Him simply acknowledging his mistake would have been enough. There was no need to belittle the lady. Unprovoked. Why did we do good? Could they are not acknowledging the mistake for the first time? Man, this is finished too much. <laughs> it's just too much. It they make me the shame on behalf of David, honestly. That wasn't making me make me the shame for the guy. Come on, chill. Leave this big brother Nigeria has made a note. You don't have to be in that uh, in that conversation of them having that uh, that having that opportunity to speak when when it comes to you because you are the one giving them such opportunity. It's so crazy. It's painful, man. But to end this video, let me give them do some advice, and that's an advice coming from Bola Boy. Who recently dropped this advice today after the old uh, David issue? He said, A wise man can play the fool, but the fool can never play wise. Then he said, Hashtag, I told them. A wise man can play the fool, but the fool can never play wise. The fool can never play wise. He, if it was when uh, David and Bola Boy were having argument uh, and this whole matter, uh, I would have linked it to David Doe conversation that Bola Boy was referring to David Doe. Well, let's move past that. And thank you very much for watching. I'm going to catch you. Don't go anywhere. Watch my next video. Bye.